Welcome back everyone. Today we're going to be learning two things. How to tie a half Windsor knot, but more specifically, how do you get that little dimple in the bottom of it to mark you out as someone that really knows what they're doing? Stick about, I'll teach you everything. So this was a video that was requested by Erin K. Oscar. Thank you for that. Uh, if you guys have any other videos that you want me to make, please leave a comment. Give the video a like, maybe subscribe to our channel. You can follow my vlog. I run a fashion business here in the UK, which we are growing quite successfully. And you can see behind the scenes of that. If not, just watch this video and take the freebie. But first of all, we've got to get on with it. And the first thing we're going to need to do is to get this tie undone and get a bit closer up. So the key thing about this knot is that the thin end is going to be quite short and the thick end is going to be quite long. Cross the thick end over the thin, squeeze the middle and bring the tie behind. Then you're going to tuck that through the middle and it will hang directly behind the knot effectively back to front. Then you're going to take it to the opposite side, wrap it around the front and that's going to create the front of the knot and then we're going to tuck it from behind through the middle and then you're going to tuck it through that, just that single loop in the front. And then your tie is going to look something like this. But there's, to get that dimple, there's a bit of a way to go, so I'm going to bring it in a little bit closer. Okay, so your tie knot's going to look something like this. Give it a little pull to start getting that knot slightly tighter. The key to this will to be have the bottom of the knot to be quite tight. And the way that you achieve that is you slide the knot down that little, the heart, the center and heart of the knot that you've made. Then before you're finally tightening it up, you want to push your finger into the middle. You can loosen that bottom of the knot to, so that it's easier. Push in the middle and then create that, art, effectively you're artificially creating this dimple. So you push it in in the middle. I appreciate this is difficult because I've got to use my hands in front of the camera. Squeeze it together. And then again, pull the knot down over that and squeeze the bottom of the knot. And you see that's going to that's gonna put that dimple in there. And as you hold that and tighten the knot, that dimple will stay within the knot. And that's how you get that perfect dimple within the knot. I hope you have managed it. It is a tricky thing to do, so it will take some practice. I know there'll be a few comments of people saying you can't do it, but it is literally a matter of practice. I have done it with a printed silk tie here, and that is going to be the most difficult tie that you can do it with. If you want to make it slightly easier, then use a woven silk or a knitted tie because the, there'll be a bit more traction uh, on the fabric and that will allow it to create a dimple. It'll also be a slightly thicker material which will allow it to, to do it uh, slightly better. But I wanted to do it on this tie just to prove that you can do it with anything. Hope it was useful. If it was, as I said before, please give the video a like, subscribe to our channel and we will see you next time. Thanks for watching guys. Cheers.